Welcome back to Viva La Vegan 2013 Power of 10. I'm Kyra and today's appliance is the waffle iron. It is something that most Americans think of as something just for waffles and usually a waffle covered with something sweet uh, like strawberries, whipped cream, syrup. Uh, in the south they eat chicken and waffles but other than that what do you use this waffle maker for? It's hard to Ver, uh, to justify the space for an appliance that does one thing. Well, believe it or not, there are whole websites out there devoted to different things that you could do with a waffle iron. There's one called wafflizer.com where their philosophy is you can cook anything on a waffle iron. Uh, today I am just going to give you a sample of one thing besides your standard waffle. We are going to cook some hash browns. I have already grated some potatoes. I'm making them rustic so they have the peel left on. Save myself a little work. Um, and all I have to do is open my waffle iron, which has been preheated, and spray it with a little cooking spray so that our hash browns don't stick. Okay, spray it with a lot so that our hash browns don't stick. And then I'm just going to cover the waffle iron in about a quarter inch thick of potatoes. Not too thick. Why would you want to cook your hash browns on a waffle iron? Um, well, for one thing, you don't get the grease spray all over. And if it's a hot day, this will not heat up your house as much as cooking it on a pan on your stove. And plus it's fun. Why not? And justifies that potentially one use appliance to do something else. All right, how's that look? All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little salt. This is some pink sea salt. And some freshly ground pepper. I'm going to close the lid on that and that will cook for about 15 or 20 minutes. Well, we're back and the hash browns have been cooking in the waffle maker for about 20 minutes. So let's see what we have here. We have some beautiful golden hash browns shaped like a waffle. They come off just looking kind of like lace. Pretty fun. And you have hash browns for one, and if you wanted to get really fancy, you could even use this under um, some other breakfast item as a just something pretty to put underneath it. I don't know, it's just kind of a fun thing to do with your hash browns. Why not? Enjoy.